I want to tell you about two elementary schools in Georgia, located only three miles away from each other. School A receives over $10,000 for every student. School B, only $8,200. That means for every 20 students they teach, School A is given an additional $42,000. That's money that can buy computers, repair the roof of the school, or hire an additional teacher. How is this possible? The answer, School A and School B are in different counties. In Georgia, local property taxes make up over 40% of school budgets. If the housing prices are high in one county, it's relatively easy to pay for schools. If property values are low, however, the taxes that school receives will also be low. When Georgia lawmakers made the law deciding how schools should be given money, they knew property taxes made the playing field unfair. If the state gave every school the same amount of money, then those counties with high property values would be able to give their kids many more opportunities than the schools with low property values. So they created the Equalization Grant. The grants provide additional money to districts with low property values. Every year, the state ranks all schools based on how much money they raise in local taxes, then gives more state money to those districts that fall below a certain threshold. For the first 15 years, school districts below the 90th percentiles were given grants, meaning that the state gave additional money to 163 districts. In 2000, the formula was changed to the 75th percentile. This lowered the amount of money given to low wealth districts considerably. In 2012, the state began calculating without considering the top and bottom 5% of districts, and the equalization threshold was lowered to the 50th percentile. The end result is that Georgia provides hundreds of millions of dollars less to the school districts that need it most, and how two schools three miles away from each other can have huge differences in the opportunities for their students. Equalization was put in place because the state has a constitutional obligation to provide an adequate public education to all students. Lawmakers must protect and bolster equalization as a way to treat all students, regardless of where they live, as equal.